take a look at this video these guys here are some of the best and most creative metal fabricators you see today just watch and see how they built a locally fabricated machine that peels cassava and the neatness of this job just watch and see the results of what they are trying to do look at see how the peels are coming out without scraping part of the cassava itself just keep watching and see the final results now these are the ones that the machine has peeled already you see how clean they are right now from this place of course they go to grind the, the cassava and then those ones the ones that will be used for the production of uh, gary will be used for the production of gary why the ones that will be used for the production of maybe apple or any other industrial purpose and then you can see that just keep watching it's coming Now, when it gets to this point, of course, they apply water. And now, you, you begin to wonder, how is it possible that it doesn't scrape the cassava itself? It just removes the peels alone. And you can see, super clean job. And then I'm beginning to wonder the capacity of this machine, how many tons or how many kg it can handle at a time. Because seeing the amount of cassava they have poured into the machine, you can tell exactly the capacity of the machine or the coil doing this job. Meanwhile, it is strictly electrical which means it requires electricity to work while some people can also build it the same uh, machine using diesel engine or petrol engine you know a lot of people say electricity still contributes to the major uh, source of development or industrialization and that is a fact recently professor bart naji of abia state has said you can see the results you see this is amazing. This is incredible. Professor Barton as you said, Nigeria needs 100 megawatts of electricity, 100,000 megawatts of electricity to have adequate supply. But today we are still struggling around 3,000 to, to 6,000. 